the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah, Jehovah, you are the man of God. Your mercy, your mercy, and your love forever and ever. Oh, praise. I have a father, Almighty Father. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I have a father, Hallelujah. Oh, I have a father. Oh yes, Lord. Almighty Father. Oh, he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I have a father. Praise the Lord. My soul and spirit. Oh God. Praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. My soul and spirit. You will praise the Lord. My soul and spirit. We sing. Praise the Lord. Praise his holy name. My soul and spirit. Can you lift up your voice and worship your maker this morning? Can you magnify the King of Kings and the King of Glory? Can you magnify the one who, who is and who is to come? Can you magnify the one that is the Alpha and Omega? The one that is the beginning and the end and the first and the last. The one that is starting your day with you and will end your day with you. The one that meets you at the point of your need and supply all your need. The divine distributor himself. Can you magnify him? Can you extol the name of the Lord? Can you tell him how good he is? For fighting all your battle. For all round victory. For his season blessing. For good health. For gift of life. Can you give him glory? For preserving your going and your coming in. For taking evil away from you. Affliction away from you. Sicknesses away from you. Diseases away from you. Go ahead. Appreciate the Lord. Oh, my Reaper Kasuntalia. Our God desire to be praised. Our God desire to be adored. Our God desire to be honored. Thank Him for Monday. Thank Him for Tuesday. Thank Him for yesterday. Thank Him for what He will do this morning. Give Him glory. Give Him glory. Give Him glory. Give Him glory for feeding you, for carrying you, for standing by you. Oh Lord, we are grateful. Almighty God, we are grateful. Ancient of this, we are grateful. Just appreciate God this morning. Brethren, thank Him on behalf of every member of your household. Thank Him for your businesses, for your career, for the work of your hand, your ministries. Just say, Lord, we are grateful. Father, Lord, we are grateful. Masuka Paye Katolia. Zaleboto Kasi Katele Brande Kasintali. Maribato Kasi Katele Brande Kasantalia. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. The Bible talks about the blood of Jesus. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. I want you to lift up your voice this morning and say, Father, let the blood speak for me this morning. Let the blood speak mercy. Let the blood speak forgiveness. Let the blood atone for our sin this morning. Let the blood speak grace. Let the blood speak victory. Oh, go ahead, plead the blood. Let the blood speak healing this morning. Let the blood speak deliverance. Go ahead, plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Masukaleba kashantale. Koreba te kashantalea. Daddy, let the power in the blood avail for us this morning. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are praying. I thought somebody would say a better and a louder amen. Psalm 80, verse 17. Psalm 80, verse 17. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man, whom thou madest strong for thyself. I pray for somebody this morning that the hand of the Lord will come upon you. You are able to say a louder amen. Well, you just take 
about three prayer points because we are actually going to be talking about the good hand of God in divine distribution this morning. So we just spend a little time praying uh, this particular verse of the Bible. When the hand of God come upon you, you are stronger. I want you to lift up your two hands to heaven and cry loud and cry. Say, Father. Say, Father. All the days of my life, let your hand be visible upon my life. O oh God of heaven and earth, let your hand be visible upon my life. Can you go ahead and touch your mind to that the hand of the Lord will be visible. The hand of the Lord will be visible. My reaper took a shintali mama. Sako lebaka santalia. Brother, what a great thing for the hand of God to be upon you. What a marvelous thing for the hand of God to be visible over your life. Go ahead and cry to the Almighty God this morning. That Lord, let your hand be upon me. Let your hand be upon me. Let your hand be visible in the mighty name of Jesus. Your good hand. Masuka pa yeka to lebrande. Man repato kase kete li baba. Kakuta pa shianta lebrande kasuntali. Is someone praying at all? Is someone praying at all? Masuka pa ye. Kuraba koto kase kate de leba kusantali. Thank you mighty father. In Jesus most wonderful name we have prayed. I just want to say a better and a louder amen. When the hand of God is upon you. Either I like it or not. His presence is all around you. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, as I go into my day, let your presence go with me. Everywhere I go, oh God, let your presence go with me. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Say, Lord, let your presence go with me. Lord, let your presence go with me. Almighty God, let your presence go with me. Masaka la brande kasuntalia. Lord, let your presence go with me. Let your presence abide with me. Kareba Swantale. Koreba Kasekete Librande Kasanta. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Finally, I want you to just lift up your two hands this morning and say, My Father, my Father, my Father. Unto you I hand over my day. I don't want to see evil today. I don't want to weep today. I don't want to mourn today. Oh God of heaven and earth, by your hand upon my life, may this day special for me. May this day fruitful for me. May this day, day of blessing for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me have reason to rejoice today. Let me make progress today. Let me succeed today. Let me prosper today. Let me be held today. Let me be favored today. Can you go ahead and begin to speak into your day? I don't know what you desire to say this morning. I want you to cry as you hand over your day to the hands of the Lord. And cry to him and tell him, Lord, I don't want to weep today. Lord, I don't want to sorrow today. Ah, masuka paye katoliare. Zalema mama kakuta ye kaka. Is someone praying at all? Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we are praying. I thought somebody would say a louder and a better. Daddy, you want to say thank you. Our maker will magnify your holy name. What a good God you are. What a great God you are. What a mighty God you are. What a powerful God you are. You are the same yesterday. You are the same today. You are the same forevermore. Thank you for answer prayers. Thank you for helping us thus far. Thank you for defending your name in our life. Thank you for fighting all our battles. Thank you for joining mercy in the air, on water, on the road. Lord, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for not putting us to shame. Thank you for supplying all our needs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I said our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for the power in the blood. The healing power in the blood. The deliverance power in the blood. The victorious power in the blood. Daddy, I said our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the power in the blood avail for all this morning in the name of Jesus. 
let the blood atone for our sin this morning in the name of Jesus. By the blood, may we obtain total pardon in the name of Jesus. By the blood, have mercy in the name of Jesus. Daddy, anywhere, oh God, you will hear a louder amen. By the blood, let all evil associated with today pass us over in the name of Jesus. Daddy, may your hand be visible upon us. By the reason of your hand, Daddy, make us stronger than our enemy. Lord, by the reason of your hand, O God, Father, let your presence abide with us. Let your glory envelop us. That today, O God, will not be put to shame. Today, O God, will not have cause to weep. Today, O God, will not mourn. Today, O God, will not sorrow. Daddy, all the good things in this day, let it be our portion. Ah, in that name that is above every other name, this day shall be a fruitful day for you, a blessed day for you, a day of progress, a day of glad tidings. Whatever you desire today, let God deliver to you. Ah, throughout this day, you will not lack any good thing. Those who know, those who do not know, they will favor you today. Those who know, those who do not know, they will bless you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that you came here this morning, you will not go back empty handed. The angel of his presence, let them minister to you this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. I thought someone would say, Better amen. amen. <laughs> Lift up your right hand and say with me, I bless the name of the Lord, the most high God. From generation to generation, He is God. He is greater than the greatest. He is mightier than the mightiest. He is stronger than the stronger. He is higher than the highest. No God to be compared unto our God. All the days of my life, I will worship the Lord. I will glorify His holy name. I declare and I confess concerning me and my household that the Almighty God will make us stronger on every side. He will make us stronger than all our enemies. He will make us stronger physically. He will make us stronger spiritually. He will make us stronger materially. He will make us stronger financially. He will make us stronger professionally. He will make us stronger ministerially. The Lord shall increase us in strength and we shall never be weak or feeble. I declare, say Lord, I declare, I declare and I confess that the hand of the Lord shall be upon me everywhere I go. His hand shall be visible upon my life. And because of the good hand of the Lord upon me, I shall be favored everywhere I go. Because of the good hand of the Lord upon me, His presence shall forever abide with me. I will spend my days in peace and prosperity and I shall be envied. I declare and I proclaim that my joy shall be full and my blessing shall increase on a daily basis. My coast shall be enlarged and I shall not walk in darkness. My vision shall be sharpened I shall make speedy progress and I shall be promoted. I will finish well. I will finish strong. My ending shall be far better than my beginning. I will not go to her. I will read eternity. I will love the Lord and I will serve the Lord all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Bless the Holy Ghost for one minute. Masuka Paye Katolia. Rabba Botoka Sekato Lebrandi. Sikale Baba Katu Gashem Telima Kason Talia Gaga Brando Koto Kasiketelia Samalale Kason Taliani Bakoto Gashan Telele Kupakuta Gashan Tale Brando Kasin Tali. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, my name we are praying. In that day that's above every other name, you will eat the fruit of your lips. That, that you have declared and confessed shall certainly manifest in your life. I pray for you 
that any power or any forces that will not allow your confession become reality, let God destroy them in the name of Jesus. God will say yes to you today. I said the Almighty God will say yes to you today. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Ah, ten powerful amen. Want to go? Put your hands together for Jesus and go ahead and start your day making a joyful nation to the Lord. Start your day rejoicing. I say, start your day rejoicing. Hallelujah. Do I have your permission to pray for you? May you attain greater heights in life. Only one person said, Amen. I say, may you attain greater heights in life. Amen. Let me sit here in his presence. Beloved, we are talking about divine distribution. And this morning we want to look at the role of the hand of God upon your life in divine distribution. The role of God. And the role of the hand of God upon your life in divine distribution. Ezra chapter 7 verse 7 to 10 Ezra chapter 7 verse 7 to 10 And there went up some of the children of Israel and of the priests and the Levites and the singers and the porters and the natives unto Jerusalem in the seventh year of Atazisa the king and he came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. For upon the first day of the first month began he to go up from Babylon. And on the first day of the fifth month came he to Jerusalem according to can somebody say according to the good hand of God, the good hand of his God upon him. May the good hand of your God be upon you. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the law and to do it and to teach in Israel status and judgment. Beloved, one of the ways to assess God's divine distribution at any point in time is by the reason of his hand upon us. Praise the Lord. And I pray that the hand of God will be upon you. Amen. Brethren, whenever the hand of God is upon a man, it is very easy to assess all the blessings and the benefits of God. But it is also a terrible thing for the hand of God to be against anyone. I am praying for you all the days of your life. May the hand of God not be against you. I repeat, I say may the hand of God not be against you. When the hand of, when the hand of God is against a destiny, that destiny operates in distress. That does not operate where? In distress. For instance, in the book of Judges chapter 2, verse 22, Verse 15, Judges chapter 2, verse 15, the Bible says, Whithersoever they went, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil. Hello? As the Lord has said, and as the Lord has sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Here we see a situation whereby, instead of the hand of God be upon the children of God for good, because of their sin, the Bible says the hand of God was a gate there for evil. Can you stand on your feet and lift up your two hands? And cry to God loud and clear this morning and say, My father, my father, my father. By your mercy, all the days of my life, let your head never be against me. Can you pray that prayer for yourself? That the hand of God will never work against you. 
the hand of God shall be upon you for good and not against you. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Cry to him that anything, oh God, that I will ever do that will make your hand to be against me, Lord, may I not do it eh? in the name of Jesus. Eh? Brother, cry to the Almighty God. Ah, may the hand of God never be upon us. May the hand of God never be against us, Father. May the hand of God never be against us. Ah, Mare Kato Kasiantale. Kagaba Kate Kasiantale Bakusantale. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we are praying. Stretch out your hands to the altar. Let me pray for you. I decree all the days of your life, may the hand of God never work against you. Anything that you ever do that will make the hand of God to be against you, I pray this morning, may God never permit you to do it. And I pray, if only God can hear a louder amen, as the hand of God be in your favor, may it be against all your enemies. Let the hand of God be against all your enemies. Anyone fighting your destiny, anyone standing on your way, anyone standing against you, let the hand of God be against them. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Beloved, what is the role of the hand of God upon a destiny in divine distribution? Beloved, when the hand of God is upon you, the first thing is you will not be stressed. You will not be what? You will not be stressed. Everything you need you get them without stress. Can I pray for only one person? Ah. In this particular month of divine distribution, you will not be stressed before, before you are, are blessed. blessed. If you read the book of Ezra, chapter 7, verse 25 to 26, he said, And thou, Ezra, after the wisdom of thy God, that is in thy hand. Set magistrates and judges, which may judge all the people that are beyond the river, all such as know the law of thy God, and teach ye them that know them not. And whosoever will not do the law of thy God and the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily upon them, whether it be unto death or unto banishment, or to confiscation of goods, or to what? To imprisonment. Praise the Lord. The Bible is saying here, when the hand of God is upon you, it's easy for you to do the will of God. Amen? And when you do the will of God, you will not be under divine judgment. But when you are outside the will of God, judgment of God is visible upon you. And that is how many are in prison unknown. That is how many are, are losing their blessings and all that they have. In the Bible passage we just read, Ezra was told, anyone that will not do the will of God, let their good be confiscated and let them be in prison and let judgment come upon them. Brethren, when the hand of God is upon you, it makes it easy for you to do the will of God. And when you do the will of God, there is no how that the hand of God will ever work against you. I pray for you, sir. Anything that you will do that will bring stress to your life, let the hand of God come upon you today and deliver you in the name of Jesus. Beloved, number two, when the hand of God is upon you, you swim in favor. When the good hand of God is upon you, you swim in favor. And when you are swimming in favor, it is easy to assess blessings. It is easy to do what? To assess blessings. If you read Ezra chapter 7 verse 21, the Bible says, I, even I, at Azizan, the king, do make a decree to all the treasurers 
which are beyond the river, that whatsoever Ezra the priest, the scribe of the Lord of God of heaven, shall require of you, it shall be done speedily. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Don't forget that Ezra said that he got to Jerusalem by the good hand of God that was what? Upon him. By the reason of the good hand of God upon Ezra, the king wrote a decree that everything that Ezra desire, everyone that has possession of it must give it to him with speed. I pray for somebody here today. The hand of God will speedily draw blessings into your life. Will speedily draw your desires into your life. Can you lift up your two hands and cry to God loud and clear. I love this one. I do what? I love this one. When the king is making the decree, that that man know anything he asks of you, you better speedily do what? Give it to him. I love that one. That is divine distribution. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, everywhere I go, by your good hand upon me, let men speedily favor me. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Let men speedily favor me. Kariba to Kasiata Limama. Oh, Masika Talimama. Is someone praying at all? Ask God that they will favor you. By the reason of the hand of God upon your life, may we favor you. Masuka Paye Katolia. Sikale Kasunta Le Prade Kaswantali. Karaka Bakuta Gazanda. Payekete Gazunto de Lobo Kasiantali. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Stop for your hands to daughter. Let me pray for you. In that name that is above every other name. May the hand of God be good upon your life. And by the reason of the good hand of God upon your life, even those you know, those you don't know, they will speedily favor you. We are others labor. By the good hand of God upon your life, you shall be favored. By those you know, by those you do not know, by the mighty, by the noble, you shall be favored. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Then be seated, talking about divine distribution and the good hand of the Lord. Brethren, when the good hand of the Lord is upon a destiny, either you believe it or not, you swim in abundance. You swim in where? Because the hand of God upon you had the capacity of attracting blessings into your life. Amen? Because the hand of God upon you is an identity that you belong to God. And so, anything you desire, you have it how? In abundance. In Ezra chapter 7, verses 15 and 18, look at what the Bible says. And to carry the silver and gold which the king and his counselor have freely offered unto the God of Israel, whose habitation is in where? In Jerusalem. And all the silver and gold that thou can find in all the provinces of Babylon with the free will offering of the people and of the priests offering willingly to the house of their God which is in Jerusalem that thou mayest buy speedily with this money bullocks, rams, lambs with their meat offering and their drink offering and offer them upon the altar of the house of your God which, which is in Jerusalem, Jerusalem. And whatsoever shall seem good to thee and to thy brethren to do with the rest of the silver and gold that that do after the will of your God. Praise the Lord. Can I pray for you, sir? May you never struggle financially in your life. Hmm. Only one person said amen. I said, may you never struggle financially in your life. By the good hand of God upon Ezra, the king issued an instruction 
that silver and gold let Ezra have it out in abundance and so that he can perform all the necessary sacrifices in the house of God in Jerusalem and after doing all whatever that remained he should do whatever he liked with what? with it meaning there was what? an abundance brethren can I pray for you sir everything that will be making you struggle in your career struggle in your profession struggle in your businesses it ends today oh you don't believe me I repeat myself anything that makes you to struggle brethren when you read that bible passage what the scripture is saying is that Ezra got to the level that he does not struggle anymore for anything called money. Hello? Hey. Ezra was a priest. I received that grace in Jesus' name. Brethren, do you know what it means? What they are saying here is that in those days, if it were to be Ezra that was building that project, you would not have God to come here and ask for one cover. Hello. All the money he needed, everything supplied freely, willingly. I love that one. But then, I want you to cry this morning. Whatever it will take, whatever it will cost, let the hand of God rest upon you. Because when the hand of God is upon you, what others struggle for, you don't struggle for them. When the hand of God is upon you, you swim in abundance. Ezra, swim in abundance of silver and gold. Because he said, the good hand of the Lord was what? Was upon me. Brethren, there was a day I preached here and I asked you to pray a prayer that what other people struggle for, what others pursue, let them begin to do all to pursue you. Do you remember? Brethren, Pray it every day. Pray how? Lift up your two hands. Or maybe you lay your hand upon your head. And say, my father, my father, my father. I am a man like Ezra. Let your good hand rest upon me. As I lay my hand upon my head, Lord, lay your hand upon me also. And for the rest of my life, your hand shall be visible. Your hand shall be good upon my life. That I will not struggle financially. I will no longer struggle materially. That for the rest of my life, I will swim in abundance. Abundance of prosperity. Abundance of riches and wealth. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Parika to Kassian Talimama. Lord, in ministry, I will not struggle financially. Ah, Marika Kotaleada. Rogo Topa Sika Tere Bade. Makura Baba Baba Baba. Kajentanda Lika Kutaba Yekato. Brother, are you praying at all? Please pray for yourself. Please pray for yourself that the good hand of God will be upon you. Karaba Baba Kaswantale. Kalema, mama, mama, mama. Oh, let me prosper and swim in abundance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Mr. Yeah. in his presence, I give you two more. I'll be on our way. Brethren, when the good hand of God is upon you, you'll be fulfilled, you will get to your destination. I don't know the height you are dreaming of. I don't know what your visions are. But by the good hand of God upon you, you will get there. The Bible says, Ezra began to move from Babylon. By the good hand of the Lord upon him, he got to Jerusalem the first day of the fifth month. He got to his destination. He got to the height for years they have been in captivity. But by the good hand of the Lord upon him, 
he was brought out of captivity to where he's supposed to be dwelling, which is Jerusalem. I am praying for somebody here today. Anyone here that you are not where you're supposed to be, the hand of God will catapult you to where you're supposed to be. The hand of God will catapult you into fulfillment. The hand of God will catapult you into your destination. Still lift up your toe and say, Father, let your hand be visible upon me and take me to a glorious destination. Can you go ahead and touch with Almighty God? Let God catapult you to a glorious destination. Kapali brande kasun talia. Oh, maripa kaso katele brande kasun talia ne. Je le baba baba baba. Karabato kasi antale baba. Maso talia brande kasin talia. Is someone praying at all? Kareba ba kasan talia mama. Karaba baba baba. Oh, Karima, Mama, Mama. Oh, Masi Taliana. Hey, Karima, Mama, Kasia Talia. Kare Baba, Kasia Tali. Talk to the Almighty God. Oh, Masi Tali, Bade Kasun Talia. Karaba, Baba, Baba, Baba. Thank you, Mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Finally, while you are seated, while you are standing, rather, when the good hand of God is upon you, whatever you ask for will be granted unto you. If you remember the story of Nehemiah, when Nehemiah needed to go back to rebuild the broken wall of Jerusalem, he was a cobbler who was never qualified to go before the king with sad countenance. Because the implication of him appearing before the king with sad countenance is that he's sorrowful and he's sad. And as such, he can poison the king. So in those days, when the court Piara appeared before the king with sad countenance, the next is for him to be killed. Praise the Lord. Because he's attempting to poison the king. But in the case of Nehemiah, he appeared before the king with sad countenance. Instead of the king passing judgment that they should go and execute him, the king asked him, what is the problem? Not only that the king asked him what is the problem, the king granted all his petition. But the long and short of the story is that Nehemiah attributed the favor and the request granted unto him by the good hand of the law that was upon him. Can I pray for you, sir? As you live here today, Anywhere you make a request, it shall be granted unto you. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. I say, if you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. The God that granted mercy to Nehemiah and granted his petition, whatever thing you ask here today, I decree by the good hand of God upon you, he will grant them unto you. So you put your two hands on your head and cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, let my hand be your hand. That right now, O oh God, your hand will be visible upon me and everywhere I go, for every of my request, for every of my petition. They, they shall be granted unto me. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Masuka la brande kason tali mama. Oh, Marie baba baba. Kasan tali mama. Kale mase kateli mama kashan tali. Kare mama mama mama. Kare baba kaswan tali mama. Hey, kali baka swan tali. Kaka baba kasan tali mama kasian tali. Hey, Maso Kate Baba, Kare Mama, Kasianta Le Prade Kasuntali. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Stretch out your hands to the altar. Two things will happen to you straight away. When the hand of God is upon you, uncommon strength come. 
Is there anyone weak here this morning? Is there anyone feeble in our midst? Is there anyone sickly in our midst? As you stretch for the hand to the altar, let the hand of God come upon you. You receive spiritual strength. You receive physical strength. You receive financial strength. You receive material strength. You will no longer be feeble. Let the healing virtue of the Most High, Palima Kosatalia, Ropale Katungaziande Kasuntali. I use you as a point of contact to any member of your family that may be sick. Let the healing virtue flow in the name of Jesus. Let your weakness be exchanged with divine strength. I pray for you. Every death cell in you, let them receive life. I speak to your organs, your heart, your kidney, your liver, your lungs. They shall not malfunction. I speak to your bone marrow. I speak to your pancreas. I speak to your womb. Let them come alive in the name of Jesus. I speak to your eyes. I speak to your muscles. I speak to your nerves. I speak to your bones. Let them know my function in the name of Jesus. Every pain you have been suffering, I command out in the name of Jesus. Let that pain leave you alone now in the name of Jesus. On a daily basis, you shall walk stronger and stronger. And I decree from this minute, everywhere you go, every request, every petition, no man shall be able to say no in the name of Jesus. By the good hand of the Lord that was upon the Himaya, the king and the queen said yes to his request. Anyone you meet in your workplace, in your neighborhood, in your place of business, for any form of assistance, I decree by the good hand of God upon you, they shall grant your request in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today. All that the Lord has to distribute today, all the goodness, all the blessing, all the riches, all the prosperity that is in the stock of the Most High, Ah, by the good hand of God upon you, it will not elude you in the name of Jesus. I say you will receive your portion. I say you will receive your portion. I say you will receive your portion. The name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And the people of God said that Amen. Three powerful times. What to go? Lift up your offering very quickly and say with me, say Lord Jesus, I believe your good hand is upon me. By the reason of my seed and your good hand upon me, let me know financial abundance. Let me never lack financially. Supply all my needs and let me swim in financial abundance. Can you go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself? Kalibo sakutale brande kasuntali, kareba kato gaza kato liande, skolo pra ete kasintali. I use your seat as a point of contact, and I decree, surely and certainly, you will swim in financial abundance. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The one that God the biggest blessing to say the loudest, Amen. amen. Let us not forget that there will be free clinic in the evening. And of course, we round up the week tomorrow. Tell your neighbor, tell your friend not to miss tomorrow morning. God bless you.